What's going on, everybody? It's a YouTube pro, aka Alberto. And I um, wrote a few bullet points down on my notepad. And I'm going to talk about each of them. And the video might be a little long. It's going to be maybe five, six minutes, uh, maybe a little longer. Who knows? But I want to be thorough with this because uh, I don't want to sound like an uneducated person when I talk about all these problems. So I'm not satisfied with revolution. And I guess the question that I want to post to you guys is, are you satisfied with revolution? Because you know what? I'm going to start out with the story mode real quick. I didn't enjoy the story mode for one simple reason. Actually, you know what? I'll put down two. First, overall, each ninja escapade story is just like a background telling of what happened before, you know, the events of the anime. Okay, so with Obito, it's like, you know, okay, Kushina met Obito, Rin, and Kakashi, and like they used to actually interact with one another before they went out to Kanabi Bridge and, you know, the incident with Obito where he got crushed by a boulder happened. Like, I don't think I need to know that Kushina somehow interacted with these people once or twice. Like, I think that's irrelevant as fuck. And, and you know what? We got just a little bit of information out of it. Like, okay, um, Kushina actually really liked Obito in the sense that she had high hopes for him. That's, that's cool. That's cool, man. But still, not really, it's not enriching the story any more than you would think. And for the for the Akashi's creation, I wanted to, to talk about this real quick. I enjoyed every bit of it because I'm pretty sure everybody had this question like, what happened with all these people besides Adara? Like, what happened with all these people before they joined Akashi? Like, what were they doing and how were they, um, I guess, recruited into the Akashi? And then we see that. We get to see all that shit. And that's enjoyable. I think that that added to the story just a little bit because it gives me closure it gives a lot of people closure of just asking like what happened to these people what were they doing and and now that we see this we're like okay so this is what happened okay and, and, and then you're simply just you're satisfied me personally i was satisfied with what i got in this specific ninja escapade story but Chisui, man oh my god like didn't we see what fucking happened with him on an anime filler the only thing we didn't see is him activating his uh susano and by the way what kind of asshole is that he awakens a susano with one fucking eye even though in the anime manga uh kishimoto goes out of his way to let people fucking know you need two mangekyo in order to awaken it what kind of bullshit is that i don't understand i mean that that really doesn't have to do too much with sabakune 2 but I'm just simply saying the story mode is just, uh, it, it, I don't know, man. When I saw it and it was just like, I was fucking legit just clenching my fist at it because like, what the fuck is this? You know, this isn't a story mode. I was expecting something that had to do kind of like with Storm 3, where it followed the actual Ninja War. And, you know, you actually got to do boss battles. There was cutscenes, there was QTEs. And all that stuff is exciting. That's what makes Storm storm you know what i'm saying and I, I just felt like they kind of dropped the ball on that one maybe they'll work harder on, on the next um naruto game but still bro for for us to be getting you know no substance in story mode it's kind of shit so i'm gonna move up to suggestions all right we're already four minutes in and uh, i guess suggestions is the next one you guys already know that they actually said hey you know what we have a suggestion box you know, little su your suggestions and all this stuff uh, to help improve the Naruto series. And I'm asking myself, I'm, I'm truly asking myself, did they really bother with this? I as in like, did they went out of their way to check the suggestions and read them out and, and put some serious consideration into them and checking if they had any function uh, functionality to them. So, cause I understand, like if I give them a shitty suggestion right and, and they actually like hear me out and they say well listen dude if we add this right the game wouldn't function more than it is already in fact it would actually hinder it a little bit more 
So I would understand that. I would be like, you know what? You took the time out of your day to listen to my suggestion. You put consideration to it. That enough lets me know you care about the consumer. That lets me know you actually want to improve your game. Because let's face it, man, there's a lot of problems in Revolution that have been from generations in Storm 3. Because I heard like Kid Conqueror still has the PTS tilting shit from generations. Like he has the, the fucking tilt spam back. All right. And you know what? Why? Why does he have that? You know, because if you're if you're if you've been around the block, Namco Bandai slash Savakonet 2, you know that that shit is frowned upon by like I would say 90% of the people. The only 10% are Papa users who just love well, not Papa users. I would say meta players more than Papa users. But I guess you know if you want to divide the 10%, you go five and five. And I don't understand why that is gonna be in the game. Like, you know, I, I don't wanna talk about Danzo's Instant Awakening because quite honestly, that's irrelevant compared to all the other problems. And the last thing I guess I'm gonna talk about, the last thing is the Team Ultimates, all right? The Team Ultimates are just fantastic. I think that they add authenticity to the Storm series. I think that that's a step in the right direction for Netstorm for the Netstorm games, and I, I think that they need to just keep it up. But the fact that we didn't even get like a significant amount of Team Ultimates lets me feel like, wow, dude, you know, it was a great concept, and you should have went along with it, but you you just you stopped here. You know what I'm saying? You do something great, but you stop it halfway. Because the thing is, there's a lot of characters in the roster. There's a lot of, t um, you know, team names they could have done Team Ultimates for. I'm not saying, hey, you know, fill the fucking entire team names list with Team Ultimates because, what else? That would take a lot of time. But more than what they already gave us. More than what they already gave us. Okay, that's all I really am asking for. Um, let me know what you guys think of, you know, this, I guess discussion slash rant. Um, let me know what you guys think about Revolution so far and if you're going to get it or not. Um, I actually pre-ordered the Steam version. I pre-ordered the Xbox version. And hopefully in mid-October I'll get the PS3 version. But uh, until then, you know, I'm just holding out until I play. I can play online, do my live rank series and stuff. Because that's the only thing I'm looking forward to in Revolution. Anyways, guys, I'm out. Peace.